When we had last left the Tarnished, they were continuing, still, their adventures throughout Stormvale Castle, revealing all manner of horrible sights within, and even actually found a memento from one of the chrysalids they had heard from or heard about not too long ago from a strange lady in a red cloak. Upon receiving the memento, the message, or whatever it was, she decided to go over to Round Table Hold rather than giving up her life to be grafted upon some spider. It was, I guess, for the best. Nonetheless, they also fought weird birds and big armored dudes, and now it was time to do more of that. <laughs> this is Elden Ring. Welcome back. Oh my gosh. Let's keep heading on out. There we are. I would like to go back to that courtyard area, you know? That would be very good. Let's do it through here. Great. Let me readjust my mic here as well. It's ill-advised to do right now, but hey, what can you do about it? There you go. All right. <clears throat> Did I hit the button again? No. Good. Okay. Let's see if we can navigate back to the courtyard, because there is that strange large man who seems like he's got a horrible secret <laughs> as I guess most people do in this game right? always some weirdo with a fucking horrible secret oh my message got appraised let's check our messages and see how popular we are gorgeous view ahead got rated up visions of rat still no bridge time for despair old codger ahead all the more try comfort Aww. okay Does this person actually do anything? No. Can we actually talk to them? I've just been attacking them on site because they didn't... They didn't say anything to me. Oh. Okay. There you go. Eat a butt. Let's go down here. Stealth mode activated. I'm running past that explosive. Okay, should we should we carve our way through these fools? I think so. Now oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Did I get both? I did. Okay. Alright. Let's heal up, I guess. That's good. Neat. Should we clear out more of them? Because we might need this as a rumble arena for fighting that other guy. This should do. There's also that patrolling, yeah. Good stuff. Huh. Gauntlets for their set. Okay. So we need to lure them into smashing this thing up, huh? Let's get their dog first. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, we can actually kind of stagger them. Uh-oh. Holy shit! 
Oh my god, the iframes, or the... Uh -oh. Whew! Too close for comfort. How do you fucking get into this one? I don't think they're gonna break it. Wow! Again! <laughs> Holy shit, that's incredible. shit. So how do we get into this? Precious item? Yeah. I can't get into it. Can I? Hmm. Is there some way we could, like, drop something onto it? The tree? No. How do you get into that thing? Is there like a ballista up here? I could aim at it somehow? Hmm. Summoning pool right there. Oh look, a sight of grace already. Wow. Guess we may as well rub this thing. Okay. Try jumping and then no death ahead. Smithing stone. You don't have the right or you don't have the right. In short, you don't have the right. I don't know, dude. That looks like certain death to me. Where do you even come back from that? Are you meant to jump over to the other thing? Fuck, maybe. Maybe that's some platforming down there. Okay. Well, before we try that, let's claim this. Now look. Another elevator. Touch grace. Good. Is this a shortcut over here we can open? Not from this side. Okay. How about this thing? Something incredible ahead. Okay. Let's see what's up here. Anything to land on around here? Doesn't seem like it. Send that down. Definitely sounds like there's something incredible. Checkpoint ahead. What's twinkling here? It's like such a twinkling noise. Try ranged battle. Against what? Oh dear. Oh, there's some potheads here. Are they friendly? Lovable sort. Good message. Hi. Oh no! You're kidding! I don't gotta kill them, do I? Oh, they're too kind. Oh shit. Look, there's a big one. A cracked pot. Oh god. Oh my god! Okay. Wow, the- okay. So they are just like regular people. Some were fucked up and some were coming. Oh my god, the blood pouring out of it. Ooh, a raw meat jumpling, living jar shard. Oh, fucking awesome. Holy shit, look at how they break and shit. Wait, that one was peaceful. Ugh. Are you all peaceful? Okay. They're too cute. 
I can't just fight them all and shit. They're so they're a bunch of little cuties. What the hell am I supposed to do? What is this? Ah. Give me your prize. Stormcaller, Ashivor. Oh, look, you do the, like, wind attack. Okay. At least it looks that way. Jesus, we're going quite far ahead here. Alright. Kukri. Hidden path ahead. Aldemar jumping. You're fucking off. Fuck. You're kidding. Wow, really? I did it? Huh. Why is it always jumping? Seek jumping. Now where am I? Don't want to go down there because we won't be able to get back up. Some birds. Strong foe ahead. Okay. So what's in here? Crates and stuff. Still no item. Oh. Oh. Okay. So now we're above where we just were with the pots. Well, I want this. Yep. Smithing stone, too. I did it! Okay. Over and around here. There's some loot there that looks like bait. Like there's gonna be a fucked up thing on the other side of this. No. Oh, okay. Golden runes. And smithing stone. Oh, I just realized golden rune also has the similar numerical marking as the smithing stone. And um, look. Trina's lily. Would have been way more visible at night. Okay. What's this? Be wary of right and then pack ahead. Oh. Be wary of behind. Oh. Smashed them. There are quite a few in there. But they're just these old codgers. Are they throwing shit at me? Oh, yeah they are. Oh shit. Wow, quite a few of them, huh? Okay. That went well. Any others in here? Wow, yeah, there are. Even more still. Oof. Oh, a manor tower shield. Oh, that was a planted person. It's always there. Okay. Let's scoot back up a little bit before we read about this. Curious as to its stats. Equipment. Or er, let's just go to inventory here. There we are. Manor tower shield. It is a great shield. Our second great shield. Wow, and it is actually a 100... Shield. Wow, and the magic and fire are decent as well. Lightning and holy are also above 50. Guard boost is 65, highest we've seen. It's pretty decent. It requires 30 strength, though, to wield. Holy shit. No wonder it's so good. An iron great shield large enough to cover the entire body. Depicts the round table hold. Gathering place of champions. Great shields boost. Boast. High damage negation and guard capacity, making enemy attacks easy to repel. Does a shield bash. 
Brace behind shield before using body weight to ram foes while maintaining guarding stance. Weaker enemies will be shoved backwards and can even be staggered. Oh, cool. I wonder if there's going to be any shields that are good for using his weapons. Because I know that's a reality in this game. Could be fun to do like a Captain America build or something. Oh. Okay. Smithing Stone 3. Jeez. Big old rip in the castle right there. Look at that. Wow, what the hell happened? Yeah, it's like a chunk of the world got fucked up or something. What did this? Look. It was something out there. From that island? Is it a bird that did it? Look at all these claw marks. And look at that. Another passageway. Holy shit, we're getting so far ahead of ourselves. Alright, let's keep going. Let's see. Anything else here of interest? Yeah, look at this. Some big old bird was coming around here scratching shit up. Edge Lord. Okay. Sure. Over here. Sorry, I'm more of a castle butthole kind of guy. <laughs> Just thinking about castle butthole gets me, it gets me laughing again. <laughs> okay, I think we're looping back to something. This feels familiar. But maybe not. Oh yeah, this is new. Look, there's woot loot. Time for head. Yeah, that is a head right there. Head ahead. Wait. How do I get item? You're kidding me. Gotta <laughs> jump on top of this? Wow. That's why there's bloodstains there. People fucked up. They overjumped. That's funny. It's a gold rune 5, though. Wow. People actually died to it. Holy shit. That's fucking buck wild. Okay. Poor soul ahead. <laughs> no trap ahead. Okay. Rainbow stone. Jesus, where the fuck am I? <gasps> A shortcut back. This is the other side, isn't it? Praise the research. Isn't this the other side of- Yes! Oh. Elden Ring. Okay. So we still need to search more in this, like, courtyard area, though. And I still also do not know how to get into this. Last time we did it, we needed to have a troll attack it. But there is no troll here. Furl crawling finger. The hell is that? Oh, that's one of the birds of power. Boom! We're getting better at killing those birds of power. Okay. Wow, more birds. Okay. Anything up here? Before I proceed toward bird? Something here? Nah. There's a snoozing dude. Do you see this dude snoozing right here? Or maybe they're dead. Nah, they're snoozing. They're a big axe murderer too. Alright, what's our prize? Smithing stone 2. Okay. Is there a ballista around here anywhere? Huh. How do you access that, I wonder? 
Weird. Because we even tried to get the biggest dude around to, like, smash the shit out of it, and that didn't work. Huh. Alright, let's fuck with this bird. Uh-oh, there's a crossbowman. Easy. Okay. Good. Now what's up here? Big open area. Almost looks like a mini boss or full on boss. Gold rune. Oh shit, a gold seed. Right? Lover ahead. Oh. Be proud. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. Holy shit. God, I thought something was sneaking up behind me. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. Hmm. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Fuck. So that's a quest then, isn't it? To have her help you. Apologies. But I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. Apologies, as fellow tarnished, down whatever- Okay. Praise the lover. Praise her. Okay. Cool. So does that mean this up here is not, like, as foreboding as it would seem? Because it seems really foreboding having a big open area like that. Yoink. Give me that seed. Praise the Elden Ring. Oh shit, here's a giant. No way. Do we lure it all the way back to that fallen statue? No way. Really? Necessary item ahead. Oh, uh, smithing stone. Okay. It seems like the exiles are identical. Come on, big man. Yeah, I got... I gotta lead you to something. Uh-oh. Yeah, keep coming over here. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, come on. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. This way, dude. Oh shit, hit me with the foos. Come on over here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that was good enough then. Holy shit. There we go. Down for the count. Uh-oh. I can't... I can't get the kill shot. Ow, oh, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. I'm slurping real quick. There we go. Now we got it for sure. Good stuff. Cool. And what's our prize? Five smithing stone one and one smithing stone two. <laughs> A little bit of a word soup, but I'll take it. Okay. Cool. Now... Should we continue up here? It looks like there's a boss room up ahead. Right? Looks like a fog door. A golden one at that. Which I wonder if that means something else in Elden Ring. It might mean like a extra powerful boss. No, because I think other ones have been gold, haven't they? Even the mini-boss ones. And look, there's passageways here, too. But to what? Oh, a side of grace. Well, it's a good thing we came up here. Okay, good. I guess we may as well rest. We could even buy a level. Okay. Or we could go literally buy a item from one of the old crones. Yeah, let's go buy that since we have enough. Hey, that's that, uh, right there, that was that giant robot thing that we encountered. Okay. Let's see, was it over here? Good. And let's buy the last one. I'm guessing they may get more as we continue down the, uh, the game. That's often how what worked in the past. Okay. Now, let's travel on back. Do I want to go all the way back or do I want to go to a different one? Because we haven't seen everywhere, you know? I think we go back a bit, right? Even at Rampart Tower, there's areas we haven't been yet. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's head this way. And just out the door like normal? Or what? Yeah, we still don't have this big elevator working properly. I still have no idea what that's even for. Alright. There's also loot in this room. Upstairs. That we should check out. Okay. Visions of joy. I'm not sure. Okay. Up here. Good shit. Always so satisfying to get those. Fuck. Yeah, we haven't been in here. Please don't swivel around real quick. There we go. Holy shit, we are the Annihilator. Oh my god. Yo, hammer's fucking own, huh? Until you get to something that, uh... It's hard to work in an attack. Well, we'll never know. Hey, look at this. A tree. Notice as well, the roots are important. 
Hmm. Mimics veil. Visions of monster. What does that do? Mimics veil. Hmm. Is it armor? No. Oh, we should read this thing. Let's see. Ash of War grants an armament the quality affinity. Stormcaller. One of the skills that channel the Tempest of the Storm Veil. Spin armament to create surrounding storm winds. Repeated input allows allow for up to two follow-up attacks. Quality affinity, which we have quite a few of. What is this Mimic's Veil we found, though? Well, geez, it's got to be somewhere. What the hell? What was that? Am I tripping balls? What is Mimic's Veil? Oh, here it is. Okay. Gold Veil of Intricate Design. Uses FP to mimic nearby objects. When Godric was hounded from Laindel, the royal capital, this was one of the multitude of treasures he took with him. Also known as Merica's Mischief. Alright. So it's an FP use item. Fucking bird. Try and smash it. Huh. Look. Access out there. Okay. Can we get in here yet? No. Some sort of shortcut. Okay. Let's continue. Oh. Now where is this? Oh, gross. You can actually get inside of it. So that's what that nasty noise is. It's them feasting. Jeez. Poor fucking thing. Okay. So if we drop down here, there's no getting back, maybe? I'm not sure if those sandbags are up high enough. Let's keep looking around before we drop down, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, look, there's a bunch of treasure. Bad dude right there, too. Time for ranged battle. Meh. Okay. Some sort of asshole here. Good. Yeah, we, we need to get inside that room. Okay, what's this way? Be wary of strong foe, really. Fuck, what? Jesus, what the fuck is in here? Really? Visions of plump sort. So lonely. Ah, friend. Oh, like the Onion Knight? Is that, is that also the strong foe that they were talking about? Why is it always ritual? Gold room two times two. If I only had a pickle. Okay. Jesus. Why are people dying here? There's some ladders. Oh shit, there's also some horrible asshole coming. 
Oh, we fought them from the other side. Fuck. Oh, shit! Oh, that was not an ideal encounter at all. <laughs> okay. Jeez, jeez, jeez. I wonder where this puts us. Oh fuck, we're back here. Okay. Oh jeez, do I remember how to get back? Huh. Took this, right? I don't even know if we want to go back to that little courtyard area, though. Or to that little, like, walkway where we just died. Because I'm pretty sure we killed them at some point, didn't we? Let's see. What's here? Oh, this is the other loop around thing, right? Yeah, this goes back to the courtyard. It was a fog door before. Okay. Oh, up here is where we were at. Good. These smoldering butterflies are nice, because they can be crafted into firebombs, which could help us in several attempts against that fucked up tree. Do I yell? Though I guess we didn't even need it against this thing. But it might see us this time. Doesn't seem to see us. Eat a butt. Oh, we got loot from you. Banished Knight Greaves. Cool. Okay. You know what? We should check this. Because we might be able to get back around. Be wary of enemy. Oh, yeah, look at him. It's just one of these babies, though. Okay. go. And what's our loot? A gold pickled foul foot. I guess if I only had a pickle. Okay. Ladder ahead. Ah, the access point, I see. Try ranged battle. Or just try a big fucking hammer, <laughs> so it seems. Man, look at that. Look at that hidden-ass ladder. Look at this shit. They even put this right here, that way if you're just going by, you'd be like, Oh, alright, nothing here. But, there is. Sneaky. Okay. Now where are we? We're on another rooftop. Is this one from before? Try jumping. Nah. Okay. Over here. Ahead. Sure. Yeah, it is. Huh. Is there something down that? I don't see anything. Weird. So, what's the purpose of this? Anything here? Can I jump on this thing? Huh. I mean, I could maybe... get up on that. Okay. But to what end? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you can, yeah. That's not big enough to walk on. 
Hmm. Anything down there? No, that's the area that we were at really early on in this place. Right, with all the wooden bridges. Yeah, remember them? We came from that wooden bridge right there. We walked across and there was this thing saying, watch out, there's a sneaking dude right there. Okay. Well, try jump attack. Oh, right here. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Now we're somewhere new. This should open our little gate from earlier. Oh, okay. Wow, I almost did not notice this here. Okay. So now we're on this little cool platform. Gotcha. See, it pays to take these at a snail's pace, at least for me. Pickle. Okay. Ooh, one of these keys. Perhaps an even far greater reward than a pickled whatever. A pickled turtle neck? What the fuck? Three of them. Temporarily boost stamina recovery. Turtle neck meat. Pickled in a bitter medicinal solution. Craftable item. The nutrients churn through the body. Practically boiling out endless power. <laughs> Holy shit. Turtles have so much power in them. Stanching bullises. Blood loss escalates gradually, causing great damage once the threshold is reached. Take one of these in timely fashion to avoid such an event. Alleviate impending blood loss. Red bullises made from cave moss. Craftable. Okay, didn't we find some other weird shit? Dude, our inventory is filled with so much weird, disgusting shit. Like, we're given a blood- we're given Bloodborne a run for its money as far as, like, having an inventory filled with disgusting, nasty, weird shit. What did we find? We found something of interest. Was it the... Gauntlets or something? Oh, we found some... Greaves, right? Yeah, Banished Knight Greaves. Thick, full set of armor covering the entire body. These greaves were worn, were worn by knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. These fierce warriors were, each and all, accomplished. Perhaps that is why, despite their territorial losses, they were still named knights. Anything else? Perhaps not. Yeah. Well, what's this? Oh, living jar shard, of course. A fragment of a living jar, hardened after its death, for crafting. Such fragments command a high price due to the magical power locked within. This leaves the living jar's unfortunate targets for poachers. Oh god. Meaning it might be worth it for us to, like, grind them? Farm them? We haven't really done any farming so far. Which is definitely, like, something you can do in these games. Just kill the same thing over and over again to get drops or just, uh, souls or runes. Well, I definitely don't want to drop down there and fight some horrible monster dog. Okay. And we've been along there, right? We walked on that bridge. We've seen this area from, uh, that vantage point. Okay. Good. And that leads down to the courtyard. And then where does this lead to? That leads back into the little place with a statue. Or wait. Does this? Oh, that goes into the dog zone. Ooh. I don't know what the fuck that person was doing, but it was pretty wild. Okay. Up here. 
Oh, shit. Ooh. Thought that table was too big to break. Alright. Nasty shit there. Good. Now we're on the other end. We may as well kill this bastard. Good. Over through this corridor. Trying to, like, mentally keep track of this place, and it's pretty difficult because it's pretty fucking huge, you know? <laughs> Alright, and this is where we died last time. Which I don't even know if it's worth us being here to fight. But we can do it. Shit. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, look, down there. Actual shit. There's caverns down under, down below. Okay, so what's over here? We've definitely been in this section before. However briefly. These are like people. Okay. Oh, it just links around. Hey. <laughs> They're just vibing. I don't remember what was in this room, but... Oh, no, wait. We haven't been in this room. Hey. It's you. The wizard I fought. Ah. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know? They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Oh, God. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I'm here to defeat Godric. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, sure. once guided by grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. I'm not a wizard kind of dude, but I'll, I'll learn some stuff. Oh, these are ashes of war, actually. This isn't just normal magic. These grant affinities, yeah, to weapons. Okay. Oh, do you see that? Colossal weapons accepted. There are colossal weapons in this game. This Ash of War grants an armament the magic affinity and the following skill. Glintstone Pebble, skill that employs the Glintstone sorcery of the same name. Follow up with a strong attack to chain this skill into a lunging thrust, performed while the armament is still imbued with Glintstone. Usable on swords as well as pole arms, capable of thrusting. Colossal weapons accepted. This Ash of War grants an armament the magic affinity. Right, they're all magic affinity. Carry and greatsword. Oh, and that's just the... Haven't we seen this before? Carry and greatsword. Carry and royal prestige embodied in a skill. Transform blade into a magical greatsword and swing it down. Can be charged to increase its power. No, maybe we haven't seen that before. Okay. I was wondering if these were equivalents of um, regular spells, but that could be bound to your weapon as a Ash of War. This one. Also magic affinity. Spinning weapon. Defensive skill employed by carrion princesses. Lifts armament into mid-air, then makes it spin violently. Those it touches will suffer successive attacks. Usable on small and medium swords, axes, and hammers. 
as well as pole arms and staves. Great spears accepted. Okay. I mean, we could buy these. Do I want to, though? Do I want to spend my shit? I do. Because we're liable to die before we can get enough XP to level. Right? Aren't we liable to die? No. Because we could just farm out the rest of a Yeah, okay. We'll hold off. Okay. You have anything oh, else to say? Keen to learn another battle art, are we? Man, so are you always going to be here? Fuck. Should we place, like, a map marker or something? <laughs> I mean, this really means, like, nothing. Right? Huh. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll put down a... A... Bigfoot icon? For what little that means. I guess maybe at least we'll see the icon there in the castle and be like, Oh, I remember there's a guy here. No path ahead. Yeah, these ladders. I don't remember which game they were in. They, I think these ladders, these like rolling ladders were in like Dark Souls 2 or something. But uh, you've never been able to get up them. Let's see. Okay. Well, that was actually worthwhile going up here to meet that dude. Although we're not the kind of character that would benefit from their uh, service. It's still good to uncover it all. Oh dear. Violence. Maybe we haven't been here. This seems unfamiliar. Yeah, this might be a new area. Okay. Let's keep searching. Yeah, look, there's a big old bell. Okay. And what's down there? I don't know. Hidden path ahead, so to speak. Try attacking. You motherfucker. Okay. Death. Oh, look! Oh, this is looping around to the other area. Golden rune. Oh, and there's the drop down. Right. Which we need to get back to that drop down before I forget it exists. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Is there anything on this area? It's still worth clearing this path out. Even if we're- oh. Even if we're approaching from like a weird- oh, shit! Was that bird carrying an explosive barrel? Wow, we one-shot that one. Yeah, these are explosive birds now. Ow, fuck. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, it's gonna kill me. At least they don't have the fire. Uh-oh. Did we just aggro another one? Good. And we did aggro another one. Weird how sometimes we're killing them in one hit. I don't really know why, but I'll take it. Smithing stone too. Useful. Okay, yeah, that archway up there is um, probably where we would have come from had we gone a different route. Hidden path, jumping required ahead. It's possible they're telling the truth. There is something down there. So there is admittedly quite a lot of blood. And a lot of people fucking it up. Holy shit, they're right. Yeah, look. If you drop down here, you keep going along that. Yeah, look, now there's signs appearing. They're telling the fucking truth. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's fucking buck wild. 
Okay. Let's take care of this big bird, though. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Yeah, better to hit the birds with a light attack because it's a horizontal sweep in midair. And there shouldn't be anything else because this goes back to the place we were from. Oh, look. Summoning pool. Yeah, this is the one that we've been at for quite some time. This one here. Do we have enough to level? No. We're short by about a thousand. Okay. Well. Hmm. You know what? Let's rest here. I don't mind. We'll get the birds back, but that's fine. Okay. Eat a butt bird. If we hit them with the heavy attack, it's a one-shot, but uh, I don't know how worth it it is. Oh, shit. Okay. Now, let's try this. This is always the fun thing of these games, though. These weird-ass secrets and shit. We better heal up in case we actually do take lethal fall damage. I believe fall damage is a percentage, but... I think there was a time in one of the games where, like, the fall damage you took was, um, almost lethal. Okay, is there anything else on this platform? Here. Nope, no item ahead. Right. Let's see what this... Look at their weird hat, too. Where'd you get that hat? Fuck. I want a cool hat. Regret. We got like that. Okay. See, there's like a corpse with an item there. May even be stuff down there. Time for jumping. Okay. Here. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let's see what amazing way this Burger King is gonna die. <laughs> just for whatever reason, they got to right here and they just decided, I guess, I'm, you know what, I've had enough time walking up against the wall in a safe manner. I'm just gonna walk directly off the side. People be wild. Okay, and here's our first treasure. A marred wooden shield. Ah, here. What a terrible item, though. <laughs> what an absolutely horrific item. Pretty sure we already have one. I don't even know where we got it. Oh no, this one's a kite shield. So it's just like a shittier version of the other one. Well, no, not entirely. It doesn't have a skill tied to it. Like, this one has parry. This one has no skill. But, this one causes blood loss buildup. As does this one. The thorns on them. What mars them with thorns means that they apply um, blood or bleed buildup. Fascinating. I wonder what scales bleed damage up, if anything. I know in past games... It Bleed was, uh, in one of them it was luck. Because I remember I went a luck build and I was like, well, shit. I guess I'm a status build. I think that was Dark Souls 3 and then eventually there was another luck scaling sword. Okay. And then if we drop down here... Typically there's a way out of these because the game doesn't know if you have a, um... A homeward bone, but in this game, 
You can just fast travel any time. Well, almost any time. Beware of liar. Yeah, so this might be... Well, looks like it goes down again. Jumping off ahead, and then ruin. Maybe rune. So when they say, Ooh, and ruin! <gasps> I live! And there is a little man here. No, oh, little man! Ash of War, Storm Assault. Holy shit, we almost missed out on the little man. Wow, okay. First off, I don't believe it. By the way, you don't have the right- Oh, you don't have the right. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, my balls like went up into my throat. <laughs> it terrified me so much. Wow, and who is this? What horrible bastard is this? Oh no. Is that who I think it is? Maybe they're like a less powerful version of our old friend. Try stealth. Brief respite required ahead. Visions of strong foe. Indeed. Jesus, it does look like them. Do we wait for them to patrol around or something? A lot of people dying. Time for parrying. I'm just curious if they're going to patrol back. They may stay there now. It may be a one-time journey for them. Because we can check by that arch. I do have five flasks. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. Okay. Wow. It's quite expansive. I can't believe all of this is beyond that uh, drop down. Where the fuck am I? Yo, where the fuck am I? Oh my god. This is scary. The stakes are being raised because we're in so deep now. Sniping spot. True. But I am no sniper. Okay. What else? There's more over here. Like, what's in here? <gasps> Is this the Superlift 500? Could it be? If I only had a strong foe, so to speak, lift. Try luring out. Oh, I got scared. That could be our ticket. Oh shit, look at this as well. There's some broken, busted shit there. There could be, like, some woot loot. Okay. Let's pull on this. Good. Because I do want to kill that Crucible Knight. At least what looks like a Crucible Knight. Because they may give, um... Something as a drop. Shit, they're fighting something here. Didn't look like there was an item there. I think it was just someone riding some... Item like... Pickle or whatever. Well, yeah, here we are. Holy shit. That's fucking incredible. Okay. So this this kind of level design, this dungeon design, this is like one of the coolest fucking things about these games. This is like why it's awesome to play these. <laughs> right. Finding like shit that links together in this weird ass way and everything. Because notice we didn't go like fade to black or anything. We didn't like... Um, there wasn't any teleporting. It was just like an elaborate fucking serpentine loop around. Okay. Well, now that we have this working, we can heal up here. And we can, um... Yeah, we can do this. 
very easily. We can make an attempt on that foe. Okay. Are they going to hear me drop down? No. Uh-oh. we got to be quick. Uh-oh! Oh! Yeah, there's quite a <laughs> quite a length of not being able to act. <laughs> okay. All right. Man, how thrilling to have found that area. I honestly did not think anything would be there where that bird drop off was. How buck wild is that? Okay. And now we finally have a solution for this shit. Uh-oh. Shit. At least I got my runes. Good. How many do you give? 400? Okay. Sheesh. I was hoping we'd get more and <laughs> be closer to a level. All right, well, let's claim this. That way we've got, we're fully healed up to fight this fucked up Crucible Knight. Man, what if it's the real deal? What if it's completely identical to the version that we fought as a boss? That's terrifying to me. I guess better to do it now than later when I've already forgotten all of its moveset. Okay. Now remember, it patrols from around here, so we'll see it sooner. Is there anything around here? Look at this. Okay. No item ahead. All right, let's continue. Let's activate stealth mode, see what we can see. Okay. Uh-oh. Fuck. Oh my god, it's just them, isn't it? It's just them. Hopefully they don't get the tail. I wonder if this version has a backstab. You know, I wonder if you can backstab this one. It might be slightly weaker than the kind that we fought before. And, like, I think it definitely has less health. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit, I didn't call for the thing back. I forgot. Okay. Gotta remember next time. Okay, lovely. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. Now, let's head over here. Good. We could even drop down over here and get this item real quick if we wanted to. Right, because they're over there still. Yeah. Let's do it. Because our runes are there too. We can grab them. I'm okay if we lose those runes, but... Oh, Somber Smithing Stone 2. 
One of them. Alright. Now it's rumble time, huh? Okay. Let's see. Hopefully I can recall how to fight this dickhead. They have the tail, too? You gotta be shitting me, dude. Sugar. Just playing it safe. Holy shit, we still got it, baby. Oh, aspects of the Crucible. Horns. Fuck. I feel like they had less health, though, you know? Either that or I've just gotten so good at them. <laughs> I feel like they had less health or they dealt less damage, maybe a combination of both. Right? There's no way. No way they were identical to the, like, mini-boss version. Okay. Lovely. Well, now we gotta call- it. Oh, no we don't! Because we're in Elden Ring. We're playing Elden Ring, that means we have... a limitless capability to fast travel. Okay. Is there any reason we would want to go over here rather than... to the lift side chamber? I don't think so. We've cleared everything. Haven't we? I'm trying to think. I think we got it all. Right? Okay. So where the fuck am I now? <laughs> what is this? What does this take me to? This goes up. To this. Okay. Well, what is this again? Fuck if I remember. Jesus, this place is, like, huge. Oh, the potheads. Okay. Oh, isn't this nearby where that jumping down area was that we wanted to investigate? Yeah, that's what we want to investigate. The jumping down area. Okay. And I think this is near it. Should we kill these poor potheads? I think so. I'm going to poach them. Fuck, okay. Alright. Jeez, I kind of feel like just killing them. <laughs> eh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. They give a lot of souls and the small ones are quite easy to kill. Or runes. I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh, this is the site of grace back here by... Okay. Yeah, by El Gigante. Okay. Is our summon friend here? Yeah. Yeah, it's her. Okay. See, I don't know if I want to do that for this. I wonder if you still get progress in this game, though. Oh, look. Rub this thing's head. 
There you go. Okay, where's that cool jumping down point, though? I all I very nearly already almost forgot about its very existence. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. You jump along this stuff like it's a secret. Is this it? Fuck, I can't even remember. There you go. There's the giant. Okay. Oh, down here is something different. This might be a one-way trip. I'm not sure. Look at these sandbags. Okay. What's down here? One bird. Some, like, furry dude. I'm going for the bird first. Holy shit. Fuck me. There are items down here, though. <laughs> okay. Man, did you see why I fucked up with that fight, though? I landed on top of his head and it fucked me up. <laughs> That's the second time I've died to one of them by, like, landing on their heads. That time in a comically very different way, though. Okay. How the fuck do I get back there? Oh, this is the jumping down area, right? I think so. Wait. This is where the jumping down area may have led. Oh. So we're in a good spot now. <laughs> okay. What's this then? Did we come through here and we miss that other route? Oh yeah, because this is where we... Okay, yeah, remember? Someone fell down there? Alright, let's go over here. Let's jump down this before I forget. Okay. Oh, there's bats. I see. Quite a few of them as well. All right. <gasps> Jesus! One of these fucking leaves. Okay. What else is around here? I can hear something chiming again. Always a sign of one of the turd pushers. Alright. Come at me. Do they do like a supersonic scream? What the fuck? Maybe that was its supersonic scream. I think it's stuck down there. It's probably counting as being a, like ground enemy, right? They can't normally fly like that. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Got you. Where's your friend? Right there. Jeez, their wings look nasty as shit. Wow, it goes deeper still over here. What the fuck? Okay. No way, this goes down to the super low area. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Holy shit, this place is immense. So this is how you get down here, then. We've seen this from up above, remember? Dog ahead. Fuck off. Be wary of rat. Yeah, I see rat. I also hear, like, fucking Chimeco.
Rat ahead, and then giant. Man, so many rat. Okay. Good. Whew. Gold rune? Where's our chiming chimer? <gasps> Giant rat! Fuck you, Chester! Oh. What the fuck? Was I able to, like, use a crit on it? Oh, look at how it disappeared as well. Reeking of a creature that will not respawn. Poison blood. Oh look, there's a little man right there. The turd burglar. Rancor call. Ew. Why is it always liar? Liar ahead. Liar ahead. What? <laughs> See, now, I guess the, the lies are being removed by players who want to actually, like, put down a helpful thing. So now, all that's left are, like, early game players who just have, like, weird notes that just say that someone is lying ahead. <laughs> it's just an endless stream of nonsense. Okay. Oh, uh, look, we're getting down into the root zone. Rat ahead. Behold skeleton. In short, didn't expect ambush. Holy shit. Uh, I can't take this. Is that a mini boss area? What the fuck? No way! Skeleton ahead. Is that poison? No, I think that's just water. Dude, that is a fucking mini-boss. Do you think we'll get stakes upon entering there? I don't see the little symbol. Fuck off. Okay. There's no way this hallway isn't filled with a fucking boss of some descript. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Fuck off. It's one of these. Fuck me, dude. Jesus Christ! Oh, fuck! Big power attack! Holy shit, we're doing kind of good avoiding this one. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, so they, they're kind of helpful this time around, right? Letting us know where to swing. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, it catches on fire or holy? Wow, 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 that's bad. Ow. It has a nasty hand. Shit. One more flask. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck. Wow, we got kind of low, though. 
Were we at stakes? I don't think so. I think this was just a fucked up nightmare. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? How the fuck do I get back to that? It was through here? Yeah. Okay. We'll skip the bats. We'll just run straight for it. Yeah, that was another ulcerated tree spirit, I think. We're faring pretty well against this one, and the mini-boss one that we had encountered... Um, it was... What do you call it? It was staked. So I'm more confident in our ability to deal with that one. The unfortunate thing of this is we still have to deal with the rats, even if the larger rat does not respawn. Though we could just run. Yeah, I think that's a good solution, is to just fucking run by- Oh, shit. Big rat is still here. Okay. Never underestimate in these games the ability of just running directly to the fucking boss. <laughs> okay. It's rumble time, baby. Shit. Oh, fuck. There we go. Good shit. I love that they make the weak point glow on some of these fights. It's very useful for me, who is an idiot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Forgot it did that. Freak. Jesus. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It does it again. Okay. I don't fucking know where anything is, dude. Baby. Yes! Fuck. Its weak point was like weirdly gone. Oh shit. Ooh, its power is still igniting, but I survived. Oh my god. Jesus. That was stressful. First off, running. Try tail. Look at this, someone on like a, oh, the chrysalid thing, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, let me take a quick drink here. Pardon me. <coughs> All right, man, that one did a number on me. Nice key. Throwing dagger, okay. What the fuck is that? Whose fucked up head is that? Oh, God. <coughs> I was about to write head ahead. I don't believe it. This is a fucking octopus. 
unfathomable sort. Ladder ahead, therefore visions of snake. What? Oh, is it like a really long ladder? <laughs> it is. Okay, yeah, visions of snake, got you. Praise the tower. Hole ahead, all the more time for seed. Oh, I see. Didn't expect recon spot. <laughs> that's funny. See, that's... Look, that's... It's not even inappropriate. It's just really funny because it's up here like this. <laughs> it's just, like, really weirdly tactical out of nowhere. <laughs> Didn't expect recon spot. Okay. Let's see. Prince of Death's Pustule. What the fuck is that? We need to read that ASAP. Prince of Death's Pustule? Are you fucking around? What does that even mean, dude? Oh yeah, also we got something. Determination, was it? Knightly skill. Hold the flat of the armament next to your face. Pledge your resolve. Powering up your next attack. Unsheathed? Skill of Swordsman from the Land of Reeds. Sheathed blade holding it at the hip in a composed stance. Follow up with a normal or strong attack to perform a swift slash attack. I have no idea which ones we fucking got. Storm Stomp? One of the skills that channel the Tempest of the Storm Veil. No, we've heard that. Storm Assault. Oh, this is the one that, that has killed us before from the Halberd Knights. Okay. One of the skills that channel the Tempest of Stormvale. Leap forward through surrounding storm winds and thrust armament downward. The attack will produce more storm winds at the point of impact. Right. Okay. We didn't get a weapon out of any of that, did we? No. We just got a weird pustule thing. It's a talisman? What? A fetid pustule taken from facial flesh raises vitality. Vitality governs the resistance to the effects of death. Oh, similar to this being for holy and fire. It is said that this pustule came from the visage of the Prince of Death, he who used to be called Godwin. As first dead of the demigods, it's said he's buried deep under the capital at the Erd Tree's roots. Oh, fuck. Huh. Okay. And this was Godrin the Gold, because right now we're nearing Godric the Grafted? So is Godwin, like, the final boss or something? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Right, we also got a nice golden seed. Okay. Well, let's leave a fun message here. Let's see. Things, body parts, head ahead. But... Octopus? Or is head ahead simple and good enough? I think head ahead is simple and good enough. I don't think we need to say octopus. I think head ahead is good. It stands on its own. It's so powerful. I'm willing to leave multiple head aheads. Yeah, look at these little pods. Didn't she say two peas in a pod? Wow, look at their big cool shield. Dude, is that a mushroom shield for real? What is that? But yeah, didn't the, the woman in the red cloak, she said, we're like two peas in a pod. Like a chrysalid pod or something. Huh. 
Notice as well, next to this, there's no bodies. Well, there was this guy. Still bloody. Probably smells like a fucking fart. Like a really bad one too, I bet. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness you can sprint up these and go up ever so slightly faster. Jesus. I can't believe we did that. I think we can for sure take the other one, you know? I'm raring to go. Unfortunately, we do have to go past the killdozer. What did we even get from the actual kill? The golden seed, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is quite good. Okay. Well done, snake. Strong foe ahead. Fuck off. Really? Well done. Oh, wow. This is the area that I thought we could drop down. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> From the tree earlier. I was like, there's no way I can make that. Uh-oh. Okay. I would like to seek safety, but... Uh... Holy shit, that was pure luck. I should have been dead. Okay. Wow, and it loops back into this room. Okay. Holy shit, what a fucking adventure. So now we know to expect that there will just be more of those. Right? There will just be more of those fucking horrible things. Great. I love that. <laughs> Okay. Let's uh let's go back here to the tower, the rampart tower. Now what what else was there? Was there anything else? Huh. I don't know. I think we may have gotten everything except for that big the big boss or whatever. The big boss. <sighs> Shit, did we? I think Let's claim a level, if we can. Nah, we're pretty close. You know what, let's just go farm it up real quick. There's birds here. Kill a couple of birds, get a, a level or so. Good. Granted, these birds are probably pretty bad for farming. They don't give much XP, and they're a little complicated to fight. Fuck me, yeah. This is not good. Birds are bad. Fuck me, dude. Okay, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that we needed to tend to. I don't think so. Right? Before we head into that big area? I mean, there might be. There might be. Because certainly if we found anything, I got distracted by um, that wild-ass encounter. Let's put a point into endurance. We do need to start leveling that up more. That said, health would also be quite nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do some more on endurance. Alright. Wow. Holy shit. What a ride. Uh, we probably should have stopped this video a little bit sooner, but I got kind of carried away. <laughs> Alright, when next we come back, we'll keep looking around before we go into that big doorway, right? 
Uh, the one that looks like it is almost certainly a boss, and the location is prime for a boss, and there's also the character there who want us to summon her for a boss. Oh. Uh, so I'm expecting that to be a boss, but will we summon her? I don't know. I don't think so. Because I'd kind of like to be able to try and do it on my own. Which may end up screwing over quest progression for her. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't remember if it still works like that, because there may have been things in past games where if you didn't summon people, but you killed the boss anyway, it would still progress. I don't know. We'll see. Until next time, please take care of each other.